We all love shotguns for their utilitarian aspects and the ability to use such a diverse selection of ammo. We also think nothing feels better in the hands or on the shoulder than a well-built and well-fitting shotgun. Therefore, we bring you our favorite five shotguns that you must bag in 2023. Number 5. CZ USA 712G3 $579 to $649 The new generation of the CZ 712 auto-loading shotgun series is here. The 712G3 is available in three versions, all of which are claimed by the manufacturer to be suited for target shooting, hunting, and home defense. The G3 shotgun is in fact available in the classic walnut woodstock, the black synthetic stocked utility, and the synthetic camo terra versions. Built on an enhanced soft recoiling CZ 712 shotgun, the 712G3 shotgun smokes clay targets and tumbles game birds like auto loaders which cost twice as much. With a classic look and performance-driven features, shooters will be able to handle both light and heavy loads, making the CZ 712G3 a great choice no matter the situation. The CZ 712G3 is a gas-powered autoloader with a chamber designed for both 2 and 3 quarter and 3 inch shot shells. The shotgun comes with two pistons for light and heavy loads. With the light piston installed, the soft recoiling shot shells mainly used for target shooting can be cycled easily. The heavy piston, on the other hand, even the hottest loads used by waterfowl hunters, can be fired. Barrels are chrome-lined to ensure a long operational life and consistent patterns. Five extra-long active choke tubes are furnished. On top of the barrel, a 7mm ventilated rib makes eye-to-target alignment quicker and easier. Receiver and barrel also feature a durable matte black finish that minimizes glare and can be paired with either black synthetic, camo, or walnut stocks. As for ergonomics, the stock features a new thicker recoil pad, 1 and 3 8 inches drop at nose comb and 2 and a quarter inches at the heel. A stock to receiver shim system allows left-handed shooters to change cast to allow their left eye to align perfectly with the rib. Checkering on walnut stocks is laser cut. Bolt release and charging handle are oversized for ease of operation even when wearing gloves, just like the cross bolt safety located in front of the trigger for instant access. Barrel lengths range from 20-inch 712G3 utility up to 28-inch Woodstock and synthetic Camo Terra versions, with a 26-inch barrel also available for the Woodstock version. Mag capacity is 2 plus 1 or 3 plus 1 depending on shell length. Prices are $579 for the Woodstock and utility shotguns and $649 for the synthetic Camo Terra. Number 4. Franchi Instinct Side Plate $2,229 Franchi has introduced its new Instinct side plate, an over-under shotgun that, as its name implies, is equipped with decorative side plates. First, we must identify what side plates are and explain why they matter to shotgun enthusiasts. There are two primary action styles for double-barreled shotguns, box lock and side lock. Most shotguns today use box lock actions based loosely on Anson and Dealey's 1875 design because box locks are far simpler and more affordable to build. Side lock shotguns are much more complex, with more pins, screws, and moving parts. A handful of master shotgun makers still build side locks, but they're expensive to own and maintain. Once upon a time, side locks were easy to distinguish from box locks because side locks came with side plates that covered the internal parts and allowed access to maintain the gun. The side plates also offered engravers much more metal upon which to work, creating elaborate motifs for these expensive firearms. The Franchi design is a box lock with side plates and offers the simplicity and affordability of a box lock action combined with the styling of a side lock. The side plates serve as a palette upon which gun makers can add embellishments, and in the case of the Instinct side plate, those embellishments include additional color case hardening and engraving and gold inlay game birds. The 12-gauge model features a pheasant on the right side plate and a partridge on the left, while the 20-gauge version comes with a partridge on the right side plate and a quail on the left. Rounding out this beautifully crafted Italian shotgun are high-end features like a steel monoblock receiver, AA-grade walnut stock with a Prince of Wales grip and Schnabel forend, tang-mounted barrel selector safety, gloss blue barrels, 3-inch chambers, a red fiber optic front sight, ventilated mid-rib and three extended choke tubes. The Instinct side plate also comes with auto-ejectors, Typically, a shotgun with these features runs somewhere above $5,000, but the Franchi costs less than half that with an MSRP of $2,229.
It's a real value for a fine Italian-made shotgun, and it's stunning. The color case hardening and engraving are excellent, and overall fit and finish rivals guns costing much more. Available in 12 and 20 gauge, these over-unders are well-balanced and suited for a full range of clay target games as well as hunting. The 12 gauge model weighs 7.5 pounds, while the 20 comes in at about a pound less, and all Franchi guns ship with a plastic hard case. A shotgun doesn't have to be pretty to slay birds, but if you're looking for a stylish, versatile over-under that's an exceptional value, the Instinct side plate needs to be on your shortlist. Number 3. Mossberg 940 Pro Waterfowl $1,126 Mossberg's longtime motto, More Gun for the Money, clearly guided the development of the 940 Pro Waterfowl Semi-Auto. By packing the 930 platform with features designed to improve its reliability, Mossberg offers a gun to compete with semi-autos, costing much more. Improved gas system parts and boron nitride coatings improve the gun's reliability and extend the time it's able to run between cleanings. The 930, like many lower-priced semi-autos, has its fans and its detractors. Which camp a 930 owner falls into depends on their personal experience with the gun. As a fairly heavy gas-operated semi-auto, the 940 Pro Waterfowl does a good job of tamping down felt recoil. The gun cycled well for us too, working with light target loads as well as 3-inch duck loads. The oversized bolt handle and closer button and the enlarged loading port made the gun easy to load and unload. The 940 does have a distinct muzzle-heavy feel. It's the kind of gun that doesn't feel great when you pick it up in the store, but the weight helps make it steady pointing and smooth swinging in the field. The 940 stock has enough drop and a thin comb that fits a variety of people and the shims spacers still make it more adaptable. With its olive Cerakote metal and true timber camo stock and forend, the 940 Pro Waterfowl looks every bit like the duck gun that it is. It has the look of a solid workhorse and while Mossberg has made the transition between the forend and the receiver flush in an improvement over the 930, the 940 still lacks the sleek lines or perfect fit and finish of a higher-end competitor like a Browning Maxxis II. At half the price, how could it? The plastic piece that prevents the forend from wiggling looks cheap, as does the plastic safety. It is worth noting that one of the great pluses of a Mossberg is that there are a ton of aftermarket parts available, including some slick, user-installable tactical safeties, so you can solve that part of the problem inexpensively. We experienced no failures of any kind with the 940 Pro Waterfowl. It cycled 3-inch hunting loads and 2 and 3 quarter inch target loads with equal reliability. Now that Mossberg has added the new vented spacer tube, they claim the gun can go 1,500 rounds between cleanings if need be. We didn't get a chance to put 1,500 rounds through it without cleaning, but the gun did shoot several hundred rounds for us without cleaning and without a problem. At $1,126, the 940 Pro Waterfowl sells for hundreds of dollars less than 3-inch semi-autos from Beretta, Browning and Benelli, and it's priced much closer to guns like the Super X4 or Beretta A300, yet it has corrosion-resistant features those guns lack. The 940 Pro Waterfowl's improved reliability make it a very good value in waterfowl gun that can pull double duty as a target, turkey, and dove gun as well. The Pro Waterfowl does cost around $400 more than a camo waterfowl model of the 930, but for your extra $400, you get improved cycling, more weather-resistant features, an adjustable length stock, an enlarged bolt handle and release button, which is a lot of upgrades. Number 2. TriStar TT15 Field $900 Waterfowlers' pleas for more premium options in sub-gauge shotguns have not fallen upon deaf ears. Benelli 2 answered the call guns ablazing earlier this year with the launch of the all-new 3-inch chambered Super Black Eagle 3 28 gauge. From the inertia-driven action to the aluminum receiver to the ergonomically shaped forearm, Benelli's SBE 3 28 gauge is quite literally a proportionally scaled-down version of the 12-gauge SBE 3 that so many of us know and love. For reference, the SBE 3 12 gauge with a 26-inch barrel weighs 6.9 pounds. The SBE3 28 gauge with the same barrel shaves off just over 20% of that weight, tipping the scale at a mere 5.5 pounds. Other features of the SBE3 28 gauge include a series of shims for shooters to adjust cast and drop to their personal liking. Although comfortable to carry, 
we initially worried that the weight and size reduction would result in an erratic, snappy feel to the shotgun when shouldered. That sentiment was buried as soon as we got our hands on one. A single swing of the shotgun through a crossing clay target was all it took to realize that Benelli had masterfully distributed the weight of the SBE 328 gauge to maximize its shootability. The shotgun felt alive in our hands but composed when acquiring and swinging through the target. Recoil from the 28 gauge is inherently minimal when compared to its larger board relatives, but Benelli's Comb Tech and Comfort Tech 3 technologies dang near eliminate felt recoil in the 28 gauge SBE3. You can't truly appreciate the luxury of a light recoiling gun until you have experienced it. Once you do, chances are you will not want to go back to the teeth rattling scatter guns you have shot for decades. Number 1 Caesar Guarini Invictus. 9 Sporting, $19,000 to $20,000 When we first saw a picture of the Caesar Guarini Invictus 9, we must admit we were worried. No gunmaker has been brave enough to make a production gun with deep relief style engraving since the Beretta Gold Pigeon 2, one of the few Marmite guns that Beretta ever produced, so this was a bold move. In our hands, however, it is a world apart from the photos and videos. This is a 12 bore over and under, fitted with 32-inch chrome-lined multi-choke barrels that weighs in at a modern 8 pounds 3 ounces, although 30-inch barrels are available. The barrels feature a 10mm to 8mm tapered rib, which has a front and mid bead and a small line cut, the full length of the rib. As a sight picture, this little tram line really adds to the perceived accuracy you have when shooting this gun. The stock feels great with its full pistol grip and simple, sensible checkering patterns. The wood on this one is beautiful, with plenty of figure and hand-rubbed oil finish capped off with a black rubber recoil pad. The dimensions are intelligent, with a length of pull at 14 three-quarter inch, drops of one and a half inch and two and a half inch with a good dash of cast. The cherry on top of all these great features is the long trigger tang that runs down the pistol grip. The forend on the Caesar Guarini Invictus 9 is that full rounded style, of which we are big fans, and is fitted with an extended boss style forend iron, of which we are even bigger fans. Inside the forend iron is a great mechanism which, by the turning of a small screw, alters the effort required to open or close the barrels to the action. The Invictus range has been out for some years now and was designed as an ultra-hard wearing upgrade from the standard Caesar Guarini offering. This was done by adding replaceable hinge pins to the barrels and by the development of the Invictus block, both of which make rejoining the barrels to the action much easier than in other guns. The whole design, however, is engineered to have as large a bearing surface as possible and as strong a locking system as the size of the action allows, so you will be unlikely to be wearing this gun out and needing to replace any of these easily changeable parts anytime soon. The triggers are fully adjustable back and forth but also in take up and over travel which is a wonderful feature. Also, the specs are very much our cup of tea. A weight of 8 pounds 3 ounces is heavy by game gun standards but 6 feet 7 inches is tall by normal human standards, so the weight isn't that much of a bother to a larger gentleman. A lot of that weight is placed in the center of the gun given that there is all that extra metal in the action and forend. This gives a gun a planted feel on longer crossers, but where the weight isn't sitting in the extremities, the gun accelerated just fine on some tight end driven grouse style targets. This gun is Caesar Guarini's new flagship model and retails at pretty pocket slashing prices so it does need to shoot as well as it looks, and it does. The first 30 shots resulted in zero misses, and we'll be honest, our test shooter for this gun is a legendarily average one. <laughs> That's all for this video, folks. See you another time.